Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss a case where a patient uh, came in with a complaint of sudden loss of vision in one eye. Uh, this was a uh, lady who, in, who was in her 80s uh, and um, it turns out she had a disease called central retinal vein occlusion. And so we're going to go over what that is and what treatments are available or, and what can be done about it. Sometimes, unfortunately, not a lot can be done, but we're going to cover what a central retinal vein occlusion is. And so what happens is, is that the vein that comes into the eye and the artery come together through the optic nerve and then it supplies your retina and so the artery pumps blood in and then the veins drain the blood back out and these are right next to each other. So what happens in a central retinal vein is is that the vein becomes occluded here in the optic nerve and so the blood is still being pumped in but it can't get out. So then these hemorrhages occur into the retina and then damage the retina. Uh, and so there are sort of three, three different stages or types of central retinal vein occlusion. One uh, is impending central retinal vein occlusion, that is it's just starting and in those people their vision is still pretty good but they've not started to no notice a loss in vision. And then there is uh, ischemic uh, central retinal vein occlusion and then non-ischemic and then we'll go over what those things are. So what what factors are related to having a central retinal vein occlusion? Well the most uh, common thing is age. So almost everyone who has a central retinal vein occlusion is over age 55. Uh, the other thing is then cardiovascular disease because hardening of the arteries and all that kind of disease process can put pressure on the vein and stop it from um, letting the blood out of the eye. Other things can, and this is actually the most common type of vision loss of a retinal disease other than diabetes. So this is the next most common. And so other risk factors are uh, if you have a increased viscosity of your blood, you have a elevated cholesterol. And so there's vascular blood abnormalities that may slow down the blood flow which would contribute to this vein plugging up. And um, maybe smoking is related. Certainly this is an older age population generally speaking like I said but uh, birth control pills of course can cause coagulation problems so if uh, someone was on a, uh, a supplement uh, of say uh, progesterone and, and estrogen after menopause and they had something like this happen they would probably want to stop that. So um, those are the common things. Smoking may be related to it as well and so those would be things that could cause. The other thing that has happened on a rare occasion with central vein, vein occlusions is elevated intraocular pressure. Since the pressure in the eye is elevated then the vein and blood circulation has trouble going through the eye and there was a famous case in which uh, Kirby Puckett, a Hall of Fame baseball player, had glaucoma, pressures in the 30s, was not aware of it and suddenly lost vision in one eye, ended his baseball career because he went blind in that eye and he had a central retinal vein occlusion uh, from an elevated eye pressure or related to an elevated eye pressure. So there's two major types like I said ischemic and non-ischemic or not a perfusion and non-perfusion. So the difference is 75 percent or so is um, is, the, is perfusion, that is there's no loss of blood flow into the eye. So it's not, it's, it's non-ischemic. And so uh, the vein just plugs up, there's hemorrhaging into the retina and usually the person does lose a significant amount of vision and um, over time that can sort of after a few months settle down and there may be new blood vessels that channel around the blockage and then the blood flow, the hemorrhages go away and the blood flow improves but a lot of time the vision does not because of the damage to the retina. Um, and typically speaking um, you would not treat that right away. 
Then we have non-perfusion where now the artery is also having uh, being affected where we're not perfusing blood into the retina and so now the retina is also not having bleeding but also is not getting enough blood. And this is the more severe type with more severe loss and unfortunately can lead to uh, new vessel growth into the eye, even into the front of the eye, which then can cause neovascular glaucoma, which is probably the most severe type of glaucoma. It's very difficult to control. Um, and these vessels are very fragile and they bleed, and so um, that is the more severe type of central retinal vein occlusion. The treatment basically is limited. Uh, if the ischemic part, that is, there's not enough perfusion and it starts to form these abnormal blood vessels, then laser treatment is done to try to diminish the growth of those blood vessels. Also, injections of prednisone or cortisone have been, studies have been done, and that has had some success. And probably even better success has been injections of the same chemical or drug that is used for macular degeneration, the wet type of macular degeneration, where um, it shrinks blood vessels. So if you have abnormal vessels growing into the retina because of loss of blood flow related to the central retinal vein occlusion, then injection of those drugs decrease that and in some cases have improved vision in some cases in some patients. Uh, so there's really limited treatment. Um, there, ha there have been limited successes in those kind of treatments though. So if you have a sudden loss of vision and you're over age 55, it could be that you have a central retinal vein occlusion and you certainly need to see your eye doctor right away because if the high pressure gets out of control, you develop other complications, the sooner you get to this, the better off you will be. So if you have any questions about central retinal vein occlusions, you can certainly contact us at the website and I'll be happy to try to answer those. Or if you have any other questions, obviously, we will um, try to answer that as well. Uh, may, if not, then may God grant you healthy eyes and great vision. Have a great day.